how to deal with a breakup when the person admits that they were struggling with something kind of outside of you. Maybe they were unhappy overall and uh, you break up and then they don't do anything about it and, and, and they never make their way back. This is a big one and this was one of the comments that I got from people basically saying, how do you sit with the disappointment you feel when you have a breakup because someone says to you something like, I'm just not happy, I'm not feeling good about my life, where they are, what they're doing, whatever. They come to you, they, they express to you this unhappiness. They think they need therapy in some way. They may even say that, but then once you break up, they never really go and get that help. They just kind of keep drifting in the other direction. Um, so there are a lot of people out there that will exit a relationship, know that the relationship really wasn't the problem. It was something else they were dealing with, but they never really go and face that. They never really go do anything about it. And the fact is a lot of people don't choose to work on themselves. So when we, we can be disappointed in this, we can say, you know what? I know that a lot of problems you brought into this relationship came from say, you know, what, what they've experienced in life, some childhood trauma, some, some past relationships, but they never choose to deal with it head on. They choose to just exit relationship after relationship and kind of just float out there like, well, this is just me and this is who I've always been and, and this is my life and maybe I'll always be alone and so be it. They're kind of accepting of where they are in life and, and we're looking at them like you could so easily just stop that direction, turn around and have a whole new life for yourself. You don't have to keep drifting away from the life that you want because you feel like you can't do any better. You can't fix the things that are, are, are hurting you or um, you're really battling so deep down this emptiness, this void that we're trying to fill in life and we can't seem to fill it. So we just keep searching, searching, searching. Um, they may just get into the next relationship and settle. They may just settle where they are with someone who also has some things going on and not necessarily interested in doing any better. Uh, don't be surprised the amount of people who settle into relationships just to be in a relationship and not really do any work on themselves. And it's terrible to look at because we look at them and we say, you could do so much better. You could be so fulfilled. You could find a lot of happiness and contentment and joy in life. You can find this if you just put in a little tiny bit of effort, but they don't choose to do that. And, and for the people who do choose to work on themselves, it's terrible to look at. It's heartbreaking to think that someone would just give up on themselves in that way and just keep going along to get along, but people do it every day. So now you have to look at your relationship with this person and maybe you can see what needs to be done. Maybe they can even see what needs to be done. But if they aren't choosing in, in, to go in that direction, there's nothing you can do. There's only so much you can do. So you can point them in that direction. You can try to support if you want to. Of course you can. And if they're working on things, you could probably have a great relationship if they choose not to and just keep drifting. At some point, you're going to realize there's nothing. You don't have the magic wand. You don't have the ability to step into someone's life and do the work for them. So if you are in a relationship and it ended because of whatever that person has been dealing with, maybe their entire life, and you know you've brought as much as you could possibly bring to that relationship and they are not choosing to go into the direction of doing any better and growing and changing and learning and living a more fulfilled life. Letting go of that relationship is going to be one of the hardest things you ever do because you're still going to feel that hope. You're still going to feel like, I know they could do it. I know they could be so much better and be happier. You can't do it for them. And it's up to that person to decide whether or not they're going to work on themselves. And you know, the pain is, is a, is, is fertile ground for change. A, a breakup can be the catalyst that someone needs to say, you know what? I've been dealing with this my whole life. I am so tired of having failed relationships because of whatever I'm dealing with. If they get to that place, they have a huge choice to make. And some choose, you know what? I'm going to do better for myself. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to get the self-help book. I'm going to get myself some therapy. I am going to do more because I want more. I deserve more. And sort of these people around me who are trying to support the crap out of me in my deepest, darkest places. But there's another group of people that basically say, this is it. It didn't work out. I know I was probably a contributor, but it is what it is. I'll find another partner. I'll get into another relationship. Um, I'll go along to get along and I'll just exist. Ugh. This really gets to me, as you can see. <laughs> I really have a hard time looking at people that are okay, throwing their hands up and saying, this is just my life. 
I'm going to be alone. I made these choices now. I'm just going to sit in it. I made my bed. Now I'm going to lie in it. Why? You can stop and turn around at any time. Any time at all. So I urge people sitting in this space, turn the F around. You've got people that want to be in your life, that want to help you have this fulfilling, happy life. But if you don't turn around, we can't help you. We can't help you. So to anyone out there who had to let go of someone that they absolutely love because they aren't just going any further in their life, they're not growing, they're not changing, they're not doing anything, uh, anything of the sort, it's a very difficult place to sit. It is a very, very difficult breakup. But I'm telling you, at some point you have to save yourself because you will lose yourself trying to fix a person who doesn't choose to be, I don't want to say fix, try and trying to heal a person who isn't seeking that themselves. You will lose yourself. You will be a shell of the human being you are right now. If you continue to pour into someone when their cup has all holes at the bottom and it just keeps going out and out and out, oh gosh, you're just reaching and pulling and grabbing and trying to get them to the next level. And if they're, if they're not choosing it, you're going to cry a lot of tears. You're going to cry a lot of tears and you are going to consistently look at that person um, for a very long period of time and think you could do so much more with your life. You could be so much more. You could have so much more. But if they aren't choosing it, that's a tough one. That is, it's really near and dear to my heart because you see that more times than you think. And um, there are more people settling in relationships without any substance because they are not willing to do any kind of work for themselves when they know a lot of the problems they brought into that relationship came from somewhere else. And, and, and God knows they didn't ask for those problems. Believe me, no one asks for the way they're brought up, for the experiences that they have. But um, we can only be a victim for so long. We have to say at one point, look, I know how I got here. I had a lot of things go wrong in my life. A lot of people failed me. But... If I want more, I need to dig in. I need to dig my heels in and I need to go for more. It's there. It's right there. Some people don't. It takes a lot of courage to step into the place of, I need to look at myself. I need to change myself. I need to be better um, than my circumstances. So does everybody get there? No. And, 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 and when, we are, when we come from a place of we would do the work, we know we've done work on ourselves, so we know how capable we are and how much um, we can have if we do the work, it's very hard for us to look at someone else who is throwing in the towel and just kind of giving up on themselves. Ugh. My heart goes out for everybody in these cases, even the person giving up on themselves. You know, but there's a, there comes a point where you don't have the power. Well, the, it's always that point. So let go of that control because we don't have that control. We don't have it. Sometimes letting go and letting them get to that place of almost like a rock bottom where that could be the place where change happens. And if it doesn't, oh, the letting go at this point is excruciatingly painful. Um, I, I, I know, I know. Uh, but if you're there you have to really kind of just go into this place of um, accepting that you don't have any power over anybody but yourself. So turn yourself in a different direction, pour back into you so you can become healthier. And then you stand from a place of you can still love this person. You may love them for the rest of their life. But if you can't be the one to step in and, 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 and you know, change them or make them grow, you, you just can't be. You have to look from the sidelines and love them from the sidelines. It's terrible. I can't even get through it without to cry. I know. It's terrible. But the, this is the reality of life. So you have to sit in this reality as hard as it is. There's nothing more you can do. I promise you, you you've done it all. You have done it all. You have given every ounce of your love and more. You've given so much to this person that you forgot to give to yourself. You forgot to give to yourself. This is where, this is where we find ourselves at a really low place. That's why we have to start pumping ourselves up again with oxygen because we lost it all. But if they aren't doing the work, there's nothing else we can do about that. So start to turn it on to you and um, just hope for the best. Just say to yourself, you know what? Life has to play itself out. The path has to be presented to us and to them in our own time and um, take care of you right now. You've done all you can do. I promise you that. I promise you that. Sit back, take care of you, rebuild your life. You may have to love this person from afar. You may. They may be a part of your life in some capacity. Most of the time they are. They'll circle back around to be part of your life, but they might, might not be the person that is going to be with you to go the duration for the rest of your life. They may not be that person, 
they may not be that person but that's no fault of your own it's no fault of theirs for getting to where they are but they do hold the responsibility of if they want to be better do better do better try harder do better for themselves for themselves number one so take care of you you've done all that you can do I promise you you've done all that you can do that's gonna to have to be your closure at some point it really does and, and it will be 